Welcome to the instructional video for using the Sanford Guide. Now the Sanford Guide, uh, so more correctly, the Sanford Guide to Micro Antimicrobial Therapy is a very useful, very specific book. Uh, the first thing you should know about it is it's probably the last remaining drug information book that actually will potentially fit in your pocket. Uh, what that means sometimes also is that if it's on a book card or something it tends to get lost, but it's a very small book. Uh, the nice thing about that is it's very portable. The bad thing about that is, is that it might have the smallest font uh, type available of any book printed today. So it may not be the easiest thing to read. I tell you that not just so that you're very careful when you're reading the actual entries themselves, but even keeping track of, and it's divided into what's what are known as tables, um, which all of the tables may last for many, many pages, um, you may get lost. You may think you're in table two when actually you're in table three or vice versa. Be very careful when you look at the top of each page to make sure that you're actually in the place you want to be in. Now. Uh, to begin with, on the back of the book, there are a few handy sort of quick references that give you, there's a lot of information in here, there's a lot of various different stuff, and it's all pretty much divided up into various charts and tables. You're not going to find a lot of straight um, monograph type information. What you're really looking at is um, a series of different information that's usually going to be presented to you as a table. Um, getting into the book itself, use the table of contents. This gives you all the specific information by, of course, by um, by page number. Uh, the ones, really, the the meat of the book is really the first four or five tables, particularly the first couple of them. Um, but be aware that there's a lot of different stuff in here. Um, everything from, and it's all related to antimicrobials. Obviously, any question that you have related to anything um, related to antimicrobial therapy, this is probably the first place you should come. It's not always easy to find this type of information, particularly in a comparative setting, and that's oftentimes where you're going to want it. And this is really one of the only resources to do this with. Immediately after the table of contents, there is a section of uh, abbreviations. Sanford's, just because of its nature, it's exceedingly compact, it's exceedingly dense. Um, there are a lot of um, abbreviations in this book, and, and there's a summary of abbreviations here, even including sometimes um, individual drugs as well as drug classes. So make sure that you, you have an idea. If you don't know what something is, or if it's not making sense, come back to this page and check it out. Now, the first couple of tables are going to be the ones you're going to be using probably the most, at least in class. If you're in PSA, it's one of the things you're going to be using. And they're sort of opposite ends of the same spectrum, the same set of questions. Table 1 is very useful because it actually divides up potential infections by area of the body affected. So what you can do, basically, is come in here, and if you have an infection of the ear, or the eye, or, you know, the fingernail, or all these different parts of the body, you know, you can basically look up all the potential culprits and try and start narrowing things down even before you, you know, it's going to take some time if you're going to have labs done on this sort of thing. You can start to look in here and see, you know, what potential etiologies are for your disease, as well as, most importantly, primary and secondary suggested regimens of treatment. And so that's going to be really what's useful to you about this book. Um, in addition to that, Table 2 is sort of from the other direction. If you have a known bacterial species or some sort of known pathogen that you're working with, it's going to tell you, you know, again, what the primary and secondary and also potentially other um, treatments are for any given, you know, any given antimicro any given microbial agent that you have. And as you can imagine from looking at this, this is going to be a book that's particularly useful in hospital settings. Um, that's where you're going to probably find it most often, although that's not to say it's not entirely useful for even community pharmacies if you have someone come in who, you know, has some sort of an infection. This is an example of the kind of additional tables you'll find. For example, Table 4, where you're actually looking at a comparison of antimicrobial spectra. Um, you're going to see a lot of tables like this, everything from um, tables of you know immunization date charts to a lot of other stuff. There's just a lot of information in here. I highly suggest that you just sit down with the Sanford's Guide, read through the table of contents and get a feel for all the different things that are in here. Just browse through it, you know, come up with some stuff and start practice using particularly the first few tables. But get a feel for what's in here 
because later on in your um, in your career as a pharmacy student, this is going to become more important, and it's really important that you remember that this is a book that you should be coming back to. It's going to make your life a lot easier, particularly when you start going on rotations, and particularly depending on what your you know your real interest is as far as a, a specialty for pharmacy. Thanks for watching this. If you have questions about this book or anything else, make sure to contact a librarian or uh, one of your pharmacy professors. Thanks a lot.